Hello YouTube, capital G, uh, coming at you with another deck profile. So because some of you guys actually requested this for some reason, we're going to bring you a standard budget deck profile. This deck is so budget, it doesn't even run sleeves. This deck, honestly, because of how dirt standard is, should probably cost you under $50 if you're looking in the right places. And if you can't afford a $50 deck, uh, I hate to tell you this, but trading cards are not the hobby for you. So we're running the only Neonectar Star Akira, because it's the only V starter we have, and there is no options. Uh, grade zeros. We're running four copies of the Draw PG, because this thing is like a dollar each at best, and it's a perfect card that's a draw trigger at a dollar. It's friggin' worth it. Uh, then after that, it's just going to be standard. Four common heals, pennies, four common crits, pennies, four of the other common crits, pennies. Cool. So right now we're probably rocking at about, I don't know, three bucks maybe. So, grade ones, we're running four copies of Rebecca. Even though it's a triple art, it's only like three bucks because it's standard. So this is like 16 or something. Or, uh already probably so uh the main point of this deck is to just blurt out tokens and do things with them so one of the things you can do with them is so blast to kill them to get hand advantage so rebecca's pretty pretty good in this deck four copies of dandelion musketeer murka double r probably only worth cents you know we're already at two minutes here, so I'm going to go look up the price of Merca on TCG Player really quick to, one, get time for that dank dank ad revenue, but two, so I can let you guys know how much this is going to cost. Dandelion, Musketeer, Merca is 30 cents. This is a dollar here. So, actually, let me look at the exact price of... Uh, Rebecca because I don't want to be lying to you uh Rebecca is three dollars so yeah that's 12 and Blossom Rain uh the commons I'm not even gonna look up because your local should have common boxes with them yeah Blossom Rain is pretty much a dollar exactly your co locals should have common boxes that'll have these so just go dumpster diving in there Four copies of Fruits Basket Elf. Point of the deck is to get you tokens. This gets you two of them. Uh, Fruits Basket at rare runs you about um, 10 cents. So we're still probably at the $16 mark with this. Two copies of Craig. You got tokens. You want tokens to be worth something. It's a common. Four copies of Pansy Musketeer Sylvia. Because, you know, even though it's... A friggin' triple R, it's standard, where triple R's mean nothing. Triple R Sylvia runs you a dollar fifty. So we're finally in the twenty dollar territory at the grade two mark. If you're wondering why some of these have sleeves and some of them don't, I took some of these out of my actual deck because I was too lazy to take the sleeves off because as you can tell. Because this is budget, this requires budget effort, so we're, that means nothing. Uh, four copies of Ermansoul. It's a regular R. It, give, it gives you consistency because it's a draw card and standard, which is cool. And at, you know, our single rare, it turns your tokens into 10Ks. And at rare, it costs 10 cents. Who Forget what I said about 50. This probably costs you maybe 25. It costs you 25 if you don't go dumpster diving. Three copies of Kaivant because it becomes, it gets 5k for each of your tokens. And because you can kind of eject them, it can get like the 20, 25k easy. Regular Kaivant, another 10 cents. Please just, just go diving for these. This deck is dirt. Um, four copies of Trailing Rose. Let's see how much this double R costs. It's um a double R and... Even though it's a double R, it costs you 75 cents. 
And yeah, it's good because it gets you two tokens for free or one if you just call it. So it's always giving you at least a free plus one. And on Van, you can soul bus one to give three tokens 5k. So it makes your numbers even smexier. And last, we're running four copies of Exploding Tomato, who is a, a great underappreciated card. It's um uh, on Van or Rear, you can kill two tokens to draw a card and give himself 10k. So it's uh advantage and power and rear after it attacks you can kill itself to get two tokens so more pretty much free advantage and it costs you 10 cents as a rare if you are at, oh and then the and oh also trailing rose and uh exploding tomato both have forest markers which is cool and cornerstones of the deck tokens run as many as you want forest markers run as many as you want uh if you noticed from my other video, this is quite literally the exact same build as my non-budget profile, except instead of Cecilia, I'm running Tomato. That's how cheap standard and is as a whole. So, like, you can have a budget deck for $25, or how much is Cecilia? Let's find that out. A White Lily Musketeer. No, I don't want Captain. I want I want the good one, not the bad G unit. White Lily Musketeer. Cecilia. The regular VR costs 18 bucks. So for $25, you can have a budget deck. Or for $100, you can have a tier 1 deck. I get, like, budget's a thing. But if you can shill out the extra, you have a meta deck. So, like... It's it's up to you what you do with your money, but like, come on, man, just just shill it, shill it, my dude. It's it's worth it, I promise. Um, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe for some more low quality content. I'm not I'm not using this in a game because I have an actual deck, so I don't want to. Uh, seven and a half minutes left. I don't know. Um, if you don't want to shell out $17 for, uh, Cecilia's, you can shell out 17 copies, $17 for these good tokens. Uh, you want, you want, if you spend me $30, I'll give you one of these tokens autographed by your favorite Neo Nectar player on the face of the planet. If you have a friend that plays Neo Nectar and you're going to say that you like them more, don't lie to yourself and don't lie to your friend, because your boy is the best. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, y'all hoes.